When the huge alien spaceship came to Earth, the human heart is left with only horror and shock. This is the real alien civilization, this is the level of technology in every aspect of crushing Earth. Independence Day is the first science fiction movie that many people have seen. It is hard to believe this is a 27-year-old movie, the special effects scenes in it are still not outdated today. It has also become a landmark in science fiction films. At the beginning of the film, a shadow slowly covered the huge moon. When the Earth comes into view, a spacecraft covering the sky is rapidly heading towards Earth. At this time on Earth, NASA also picked up an unknown space signal. They quickly identified the signal as coming from the moon. The matter immediately came to the attention of the Department of Defense. Based on radar images, the alien ship's diameter reached an exaggerated 600 kilometers. Its volume is one quarter the size of the moon. The general thought it was probably just a meteorite, but his men soon dismissed that guess. At this time, the alien ship is slowing down. Then a part of it began to split. Although the splintered craft was smaller than its parent, it was still more than 15 kilometers wide. Meanwhile, alien ships have been spotted all over the world. They began to descend on the cities. Their sheer size is beyond human perception. People were horrified by the overwhelming number of alien ships. Cars on the street collided frequently. Those who responded immediately fled in all directions. The whole world was in a state of panic. Soon, the alien ship covered the entire city. Even the White House was in the shadows. The president immediately made a televised speech. He tried to reassure the frightened crowd. But in the face of such a terrible sight, now people want to pack their bags and leave the city targeted by aliens. However, they didn't know that many more alien ships had descended on Earth. They are all parked in every town. David is a computer engineer. He discovered that since the alien spacecraft came to Earth, there is a strange signal hidden in human satellite communications. If he's right, the alien mothership is using it to control spacecraft around the world. Once the aliens are ready, they will simultaneously launch an attack on Earth. And David's ex-wife happens to be the president's assistant. Through this relationship, he also shared this information with the president. There is little time left for humanity. However, it was too late. Just a few minutes ago, the military sends a helicopter to show goodwill. After arriving near the alien ship, the plane wanted to use the lights to make contact with the aliens. However, in response to the friendly attitude of the human, the alien ship responded directly with a laser. Seeing this, the president immediately boarded Air Force One and prepared to evacuate. David also looked at the countdown. In 10 minutes, aliens will attack the human race. And on the other hand, there are some extremists among humans. They believe aliens are coming to Earth to save themselves. They gathered on the rooftops of tall buildings and held signs to welcome the aliens. As they shouted, the alien ship responded. It slowly opened the hatch, and the muzzle began to accumulate energy. The whole building was instantly blown to pieces with a flash of white light. People fled in fear, but flames quickly spread around the building. Everything along the way was engulfed in heat and flames. This is the difference between human and alien technology. Now people also know that alien civilization brings only conquest and destruction, along with the alien warships continued attack. A powerful shockwave swept through everything instantly. Although people were desperately trying to escape, they still could not escape the judgment of death. At the same time, a laser went off at the White House. In an instant, everything here was gone, but that was just the beginning. The shockwave began to destroy everything around it. In just a few seconds, the whole town was turned into a lava ruin. Fortunately, with David's warning, President's Air Force One managed to escape. At that moment, a mother was holding her child and running in the panic crowd. The shockwave was right behind her. With her speed, she would sooner or later be caught in the sea of fire. At that moment, she kicked open the maintenance room in the tunnel. Just after she took cover, the fire swept through the place instantly. After everything had calmed down, the mother and son slowly walked out of the tunnel. What appeared before was a ruin. They were the only ones who survived the whole town. Meanwhile, the president soon arrived at the temporary headquarters. The army immediately prepared to launch a counterattack against the enemy. As human warplanes approached the alien warship, everyone was shocked by the huge thing in front of them. This was their next opponent. As they approached their target, all the fighters attacked at the same time. But as the missiles approached the alien ship, an energy shield appeared from nowhere. All attacks were also blocked. But the military didn't just give up. Next, 
They began to change their formation and try other directions, however, they were soon desperate. The alien ship's shield did not have a dead end, because they were too close to the target. One of the planes also hit the shields because it could not turn in time, but they didn't have time to feel bad. The alien battleship suddenly opened a gap. Numerous alien ships swarmed in an instant, and these ships also have energy shields. A single impact could easily destroy human fighters. The technology of alien civilization is directly crushing the human race. Human warplanes immediately began to withdraw. The human race had already suffered heavy casualties in just a few minutes of fighting. However, the alien ships did not want to let humans go. They continued to follow them. On the other hand, some alien ships approached the airbase quietly. With their sudden attack, the human race was caught off guard. Numerous warplanes were smashed to pieces by cannon fire before they had a chance to take off. Steven was the best pilot on the team. At this moment, two alien ships are chasing him frantically to cover his escape. His companion was beaten. Steven immediately rushed into the canyon with the alien ship. He could repeatedly avoid alien attacks with his familiarity with the terrain. Seeing that the ship was still following, Steven then popped out of the plane's deceleration chute. The deceleration parachute is hanging over the alien ship. In front of them was a cliff face. Steven immediately ejected himself. The fighter then crashed directly into the cliff. The alien ship was blocked from view and crashed to the ground immediately after. After Steven landed safely in the air, he immediately headed for the alien ship. As he opened the hatch, the alien tried to fight back, but Steven knocked him out with a punch. It was the first time humans had seen an alien, his whole body was covered with a thick biological shell. The professor used a scalpel to slowly cut a slit along the slit in his head. At that moment, his body suddenly opened. Everyone was scared. When they returned to their senses, they realized that the alien did not respond. Then they continued to dissect the alien. When the professor cut through the inner mucosa, they finally saw the alien's true face. The assistant next to him found that the alien was still alive. Its eyes suddenly opened. When he looked at the professor, he used his brain waves to control him. While people were concerned about the professor's condition, the alien started to move at that moment. He first broke free from the operating table. Then everyone here was quickly wiped out by the alien attack. By the time people arrived, the lab was full of smoke. The officer immediately tried to rescue the professor but was prevented by the general. It turns out that the professor's neck is still wrapped around a tentacle. He was already under alien control. They were using the professor's vocal cords to communicate with humans. At this point, the smoke slowly cleared. Aliens have finally revealed their strange ways. Looking at the monstrous creature that appeared before him. At this point, the president is still thinking about coexistence with aliens in peace. While the two were talking, the president accidentally saw the alien's eyes. He was instantly mind-controlled. Fortunately, the general shot the alien immediately, which prevented the tragedy from happening. The president knew the alien's purpose through a conscious connection just now. It turned out that their planet's resources had been depleted long ago. Aliens live like locusts. They went from planet to planet. And now their target is Earth. This is a genocidal war with no turning back. The president finally decided to use nuclear weapons at that time. The military immediately dispatched B-21 bombers. The president ordered them to attack as they approached the target. Seeing that the nuclear bomb had successfully hit the target, the command room erupted in cheers. But as the satellite image became clearer, the alien ship was still floating in the air with no damage. Now the most powerful human weapons can't break the enemy's energy shield. Just as everyone was in despair, David made a discovery. It turns out that the current location of the command headquarters is the military's secret base in Area 51. 50 years ago, the federal government captured an alien ship. And after the aliens came to Earth, this ship started the engine. David discovered after research that the alien ship was protected by an energy shield that no outside force could penetrate. But as he implanted a virus into the ship, when the officer fired again, the ship's shield had disappeared. If they can implant the virus into the alien mothership, it will infect all other ships. This is now the only plan for humanity. The president immediately agreed to the plan. Because Stephen has experience fighting aliens, he joins David on this mission. They will pilot the ship to infiltrate the mothership and implant the virus. But even if they succeed, the battle will only take a few minutes or less. The aliens will soon come up with a solution. When everything was ready, the two men piloted the ship and rushed out. The human counterattack was about to begin. That was all the military power that existed in humanity. The enemy they faced was even more powerful. Looking at the approaching behemoth, 
The fighter group quickly began to change formation, then the fighters began to attack. However, the missile was eventually blocked by the shield. At the same time, Steven was already flying the ship out of the atmosphere. The ship suddenly lost control as they approached the alien mothership. David immediately stopped Steven from continuing to pilot the ship. This should be the ship's automatic program. With the attraction of the mothership, the ship entered the interior of the mothership smoothly. After they passed through the long passageway, Steven finally got a clear view of the interior. What appeared in front of them was the control center. In the square below, countless aliens stood ready to fight. There are at least a few million alien ships out there, and under the pull of the mother ship, they slowly enter the berth. Looking at the aliens, the two remain calm, holding back their panic. Under alien control, the ship is soon secured by a bracket. By this time, David had also successfully connected to the mothership's mainframe. He immediately started planting the virus, and with the successful implantation of the virus, the command system of the alien mothership was instantly paralyzed. At the same time, humans on Earth also received the signal. The general immediately ordered fire. This time, the missiles finally hit the target. It was time for the human race to launch a general attack. Countless missiles began to fly towards the alien warship. At this time, the alien ships also rushed out to stop them, but without the benefit of energy shields. This time, the two sides were evenly matched. Humans don't need to fear them anymore. However, as the battle widened, the alien ships began to attack the human base again. The entire base was instantly turned into a sea of fire. Everyone fled in panic. Human warplanes also speed up their attacks immediately, but by the time they ran out of ammunition, the alien battleship's level of destruction was still insufficient, and the battleship had already flown over the human base. As his guns slowly opened, the aliens are about to use their energy weapons to destroy the remaining human military force in one fell swoop. Human combatants attempted to destroy the gun ports, but the surrounding hatches blocked the missiles. Seeing that the battleship has finished storing energy, but then one of the fighters went straight for it. At this point, he was like a moth to a flame, knowing that he would die, but he did not hesitate, and as the fighters hit the guns, with an explosion, the entire battleship's energy is completely out of control. It started to burn and then crashed right into the ground. At this time in space, the two people who completed the mission immediately prepared to evacuate, but then the ship did not respond, and their movement also attracted the attention of aliens. The ship's information was immediately recovered. After opening the ship's shield, they also saw the humans sitting inside. The ships next to them immediately gathered around, seeing that they were exposed. The two did not hesitate at all. They directly fired the nuclear bombs carried by the ship. Fortunately, the ship's mounts began to loosen under the impact. Seeing only 30 seconds left before the explosion, Steven immediately launched the ship to escape, but as soon as it started, several alien ships caught up with it, and the front door was closing fast. Fortunately, the two finally made it out at the last minute before the hatch closed. Meanwhile, the aliens can only watch as the countdown to the nuclear bomb ends. The alien mothership is instantly blown to pieces. At the end of the film, all alien warships around the world are destroyed. The human race won the final victory. David and Steven have returned to Earth. They are finally reunited with their families. At this point, they don't know that aliens will come back 20 years later. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time.